Hi everyone and welcome in my another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how to create this kind of war style uh, effect, war style manipulation, but I think it's too simple to call this manipulation um, this kind of soldier image. You're gonna need only two images uh, to create this kind of effect. Uh, so you have to admit it uh, seems really simple. Well, maybe it doesn't look really simple, but it really is because it's really quick effect. You're gonna need uh, two images, maybe even one image. It depends uh, what would you like to create and some uh, flares to create this uh, image. I don't want to talk too much. I just hope you're gonna enjoy this tutorial and let's start. At first I have to delete all these layers oh, I'm gonna left my background layer delete layers and alright that's how it looks like it's my background layer I found my two images on pond 5 but if you would like to create something really similar there's a lot of similar image on DeviantArt so um, basically no worries and well I think we need some contrast we need some details on this image so go to image adjustments and then shadows highlights I think this image is a bit too bright so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take down some uh, lights from the shadows part and as well as I drag some amount on highlights I take down some amount uh, on the highlights so as you see now on my sky there is much more details now so basically that part is the most important well it's if your sky or some other parts are too bright and if you would like to show some details that just drag on the right uh, some amount in highlights I add some midtone contrast and alright, uh, our background is prepared actually now. So uh, we can uh, drag our soldier into this image. But of course we are not finished yet with uh, background because there is uh, much more things to do. I think it's a right place and uh, I have to edit this soldier as well. I'm gonna duplicate this uh, layer and then image adjustment and shadows highlights again because this image was too bright compared to my background so we just have to adjust the soldier to our background and I think now it looks uh, quite okay but now the thing we have to do on our background is duplicate this and then I'd like to add some lightning effects so go to filter after you create new layer after you duplicate your layer render and lightning effects Why I'm gonna do this? Because I'd like to add some nice contrast, that's uh, only one reason behind my soldier, somewhere here. See now. think it might be something like this. The, the lightning effect has to be really soft because um, I don't want this image made a, make a bit destructive so that's the reason why this effect is really so soft, why the intensity isn't so intense because I'm gonna add some nice effects later so it looks really, really impressive now, I think. So now it's a good time for some kind of lens there. 
I find this lens flare on DeviantArt, of course, you could find a link in the description, you can find the link in the description, and I want that lens flare behind my soldier. Change blend mode to screen to make that black part invisible, and place that uh, lens flare whatever you want. I thought it's really a nice idea to place that, so... Now add layer mask, because as you see, my edges are not really so impressive. Actually, they're, they're not well, that doesn't look well. So we have to clear the edges to make that look natural. If it's too strong, of course, you can change opacity to 80 or 90%, whatever you prefer here. And I think next uh, it would be really great to add another lens flare, but uh, maybe I think it would be better to wait a second to add another lens flare. At first, take down some saturation from this image, about minus 50, it would be Okay. The reason why I'm taking down some saturation is because I would like to add some different kind of color effects. So actually, we don't need uh, our uh, original colors. That's the reason why I'm taking down to make this look natural later. Then go to gradient map, and in gradient map, I'd like to add some really nice and warm colors for shadows this kind of bronze color and for sky maybe a bit colder but not too cold this yellowish color take a look change uh, blend mode into soft light and well I think it looks quite okay quite natural this color color look uh, works perfectly for me after gradient map, I think it would be a great idea to add some contrast because we don't have too many contrasts. Just add curves and do something like me to add some nice contrast into this image. You can change your color effect a bit if you fancy it, but I don't think it would be necessary in this case. So it's something like this, it looks really really impressive now for me, but as I said uh, earlier I'd like to add another lens flare, so create a new layer, um, of course color black and change blend mode into screen to make this invisible again, then go to filter, render and lens flare. All right, let's try now. It's almost perfect now. It's really good. Somewhere here. Okay. If it's too strong, of course, you can change opacity just a bit because it has to be visible. I put 95 maybe. And I'm going to brush this part using black brush and opacity about 20 and just single click. Maybe a bit more on his face just a bit and all right I think it looks really nice so we almost done it's just a uh, proper time for our final result so create a stamp on the top just like me I'm gonna call this final then click right and convert to smart object 
then go to window and actually I forgot to say it's really good to use some plugins if you have ones if you don't you can use filter or gradient map at the end to increase your final effect final result I'm using a perfect effects 8 it's really nice uh, it's free version there's a few interesting effects so if you fancy it link is in the description and if you're using perfect effects 8 as me click window extension and then on one I already have an idea what I'd like to add. As a first layer, I'd like to add some warmer filter. It gives me this nice warm effect on the back here. If it's too strong, of course, we can take down uh, a bit and then create a new layer. And I'm gonna use glow, it's really good. Take a look, I, I just want to use natural glow or angel normal glow would be better I think. It looks something like this. And I think it's done, maybe if you don't have too many details on this image you can add HDR effect as well. But I think it has to be really soft then. And take a look on our final result. I've got an impression that um, I was saying too fast in this tutorial, but I hope it was everything clear. But basically, it's really simple tutorial, you have to say. So, it's just an idea, it's just a good idea. So. This is our final result and what I have to say, I'm really impressed by this effect. It took, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. So as you, as you can see, it's really simple. It's really quick effect and it's really impressive effect. Here's our final result. Please leave a comment what you think about this kind of tutorial. If you like it, if you don't, uh, whatever. And it will be great to share your ideas for the future tutorials. My last tutorial about lightning uh, effects was on the request one of my viewers. So, if you give me, if you would give me really great idea for next tutorial, I uh, will make a tutorial for you, especially for you about your idea. Uh, so it really helps me a lot sometimes if you share your ideas with me. So. As I said, leave a comment uh, if you like this tutorial, thumbs up and see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.